Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey, if you are new here. Um, for today's video, I'm going to unbox this new vacuum that I got. I got the Shark Rocket Pet Corded Stick Vacuum. So we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. So I got this from Target. It was on sale for $150. It's normally $200. I, we, me and my husband decided that we needed a new vacuum. The one we have is just not sucking up things properly. And the other one we've had, we've had for almost six years now. So it's just time for a new vacuum. So what's inside is a handheld vacuum, motorized floor nozzle, wand, crevice tool, upholstery tool, anti-allergen dust brush. And it looks like you just insert the wand into the floor nozzle and insert the handle vacuum into the wand. So, got the instructions. And we got it all in. Okay, I'm just gonna get everything out and put it next to me on this futon. I have scissors just in case. So, first things first, we have the vacuum part. Ooh. And some wands. This is, I guess, the crevice tool, maybe. Very nice. It's always nice getting new stuff. This might be the crevice tool, actually. That. Here's the. Here's another tool. Very interesting. Oh, here's the actual wand. So something connects here, and then something connects here. And then you have the machine. So this is like the handheld situation. I guess this is also like the top and the cord. So that's everything that's in the box. And now let's try to assemble it. I'm not very savvy all the time. So let's see. Okay, we have, so it goes like this down. So then I'm sure this hooks to this, like this. The orange follows the orange. What an interesting video, Casey. Okay. Oh, click. So like that. Got caught on my, <laughs> my pants. I'm gonna set this down like this. And then we have this that just goes on here this is it gonna click click so here we go we have the vacuum let me all right so here's the vacuum so this part plugs in and then you step on it and just vacuum like per usual so let's try it out okay I put some of this Glade carpet powder down on the ground so you can see it, just so we can see how well it sucks it up. And we're gonna see how loud this thing is. So there's different settings on here. It's one and two. It says one is bare floor and area rugs and two is high pile carpets. So I'm gonna do two. Let's see this.
first impressions is I like the suction that it sucked up. The only thing that I'm a very, I'm getting annoyed with immediately is that like, you know, a normal vacuum, you can stand it up when you're done using it. This is just not standing up. So I don't know how it's gonna store. I'm sure I could read it, but like, that's just aggravating. So I'll have to play with that. But I mean, it picked up a lot from, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I didn't pre-vacuum before I vacuumed. Um, and this is where I work, this is where the animals hang out. So it did pick up a lot from that. So that's good, it has good suction, I guess. Just like I said, the only downfall is the, um, how it's not staying up, I'm holding it up. So overall, I like that so far. I'm gonna detach this. And then let's try to put an attachment on here. Let's see. I don't know what this attachment does. I guess it's good. Good section. Let's try to get some animal hair off the couch. I know you can't see it, but let's try. Okay, that worked pretty well to get some cat fur off the um, futon. This is probably more for that because it has like this different texture on here. So let's try this maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely not using this right. I got the box. Let's see what everything is supposed to do. Okay. This is obviously handheld vacuum. Uh, B is a motorized four nozzle, which is this. C is this, the wand. D is the crevice tool, which we just tried that. It's this one. E is this thing which is upholstery so yeah this is for i guess couch stuff like that and then f anti-allergen dust brush so this is to get dust off of places which that's pretty cool so now we know that i want to see how we store it like Cause I want to give a full, I want to give an honest review, but I don't know how I'm supposed to store it. So, cleaning modes, assembly, storage, onboard hook. So there's a hook on it. Which I don't see. Oh, storage hook. It's pointed down here. It says storage hook down. So I guess one of the stores there. Seems weird. And there's also a wall mount. Oh, you have to. For convenient storage above the floor, a wall mount is available for purchase on shookaccessories.com. So the way the onboard hook works, press the wand release button on top of the wand to attach the handheld vacuum. Align the catch on the bottom of the handheld vacuum with the storage hook on the wand. Slide in the handheld vacuum. So you take this. You take this and you put it on here like that. And that's how you store it. That makes me feel better, but also, 
but that doesn't help me when I'm vacuuming and I have to move something and what am I, I'm just gonna put the vacuum on the floor. So that's aggravating. So, pretty self-explanatory stuff here. Upholstery, duster, crevice, got the handheld, can use it on floors. So there's that. So I'm gonna give my honest review. I know I only did like a little section of the carpet with it. I don't have an issue with the total vacuuming. The crevice tool seems like it's gonna work. I'm gonna try the duster, um, try to find a place in my house that's a little bit more dusty. But I don't like how it doesn't sit up right when you're in the middle of using it. The storage is convenient. I mean, it wouldn't take that much room. So I like that. I'm going to give it seven and a half out of 10, just because it's really annoying when you're trying to hold it. That's aggravating to me. Um, the cord, I mean, I know I bought a corded one, but it would be more convenient if it didn't have a cord. I like the suction on it though. So seven and a half out of 10 for the vacuum. Now I'm going to use it for my for rugs and all the rooms in my house. So we'll see how fast. This fills up. I do have animals, but it is a pet specific vacuum. So, I mean, it should do the job just fine. Let's see how we empty it. Empty it, you just, I guess, press this button and empty it that way. Another thing is it doesn't seem to hold a lot of dust in here. So you do have to empty it quite often, but I mean, it's gonna happen if you have a dusty house and if you use carpet powder like I do going to fill up more. If you have pets, it's going to fill up more obviously too. So that seems convenient to empty. I mean, it's very lightweight and convenient. I am seven and a half months pregnant now. So convenient. Like I said, it's just annoying if I have to put on the floor to rest it. That's bending over is easy right now. So whatever, but yeah, seven and a half out of 10. $150 is not bad. At least it wasn't like 400 or anything. Just needed a new vacuum with better suction. So, I mean, I would recommend this and if it doesn't bother you that it doesn't stick up all the time, I mean, you could prop it up against something, I guess, but that's my only downfall. So yeah, that is the review of my Shark Rocket Pet. This again is $150. That's how much I paid for it at Target. It's normally 200. So seems like it'll get the job done. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I normally post every Saturday. I post grocery hauls mostly, but also do some vlogs and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon.